are all locked up and packed up from our Airbnb and it is time for a new adventure. Today we are taking a long road trip to Scotland. So we are heading to Oban, Scotland, which is a four hour drive from where we are in Keswick, England. It's 10 a.m. now, and in two hours, that will put us in Glasgow, Scotland. We're gonna stop there for lunch. here in Glasgow, Scotland. The plan is to grab a quick lunch. I think we're just gonna get some like pita wraps to go as we walk around and then head on to our final destination of the town of Oban. 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 I think it's Oban. Oban. I don't know. It could be Oban. It's up there north. So we have a couple more hours on the road still, but we're gonna see what Glasgow has. Yeah, stretch our legs a little bit. Yeah. Okay, we stopped at this falafel place. It's called Falafel To Go. It had really good reviews. It's just literally a window in the side of the building and the sweet little lady. We pulled it up out and I was like, wraps. we went out of our way to go to this place? It's a window. But there were tons of locals waiting in line. Yep. We didn't fully understand how the queuing worked, but one of them yeah. explained it to us. And then we got it and they're 350 each. And I think everything in there is vegan. It looked like it hummus, That's what the really review said. and falafel wrap. Yeah, so. it's very good. It's yeah. got pickles in it, which is different and interesting. Adds a little sour note. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. It's good. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, it's yeah. good. I like it. Good. Mm -hmm. This thing is massive. I have a big head, by the way, so comparison-wise. <laughs> it's long and skinny instead of like big yeah. and fat. I can breathe. <laughs> Mm. That's good. You take big old bites. Never share your food with Jordan. He takes a Jordan bite. Mm. You got a big mouth. Mm. That is very good. I set myself up for that one, didn't I? You got a big mouth. You got big hands. Talk too much. You don't talk too much. Mm. Anyway, we have talked to y'all too much. All right, we're heading to Primal Rose to get us some coffee for the road. Apparently, pretty good one in Scotland. We've had good reviews and we need some coffee and we just wanted an excuse to stretch our legs and see yeah. at least a few streets of Glasgow. Just found out Primal Rose is closed, so Ashley's usually to find us another coffee shop. That's really Lies. Tried a second time for a different coffee shop called Big. That one was closed. There was a ton of construction going on. And we even had to go up this massive hill to get there. We're gonna try lucky number three. We're in luck. This one's open. It's called the Project Cafe. All right, we're in the car, have our coffees. I got an Americano with oat milk, not that you care. But now we're on our way to Oban. I'm very wind blown. <laughs> it's very windy in Glasgow. Yeah, it was. Super I was really windy. feeling my hair this morning, not so much, but I got an oat milk latte because I know you care. Anyway, um, yeah, we're heading to Oban now. Should be there in two hours and twenty-one minutes. Bye. Wherever you're going. I'm going to I'll 
to 45 minutes away from Oban. We stopped on our ride through because it was just absolutely beautiful out here. Um, we stopped on the side of the road next to a stream and some tall mountains and took in the fresh air. Yeah. What'd you think? It was beautiful. I'm ready to get going. I'm ready to be there, you know <laughs> what I mean? Wherever you're going, I'm going to. I'll follow you through the Rogers moment. Welcome to our Airbnb here in Oban, Scotland. We finally arrived, got all our stuff in. It's a great space. I'm sad we're only staying one night, but we thought we'd show you around. This place is called Elm Bank and we found it on Airbnb, which we will link below. So this away is our bedroom with a beautiful view. We've got a fluffy king size bed. I love that and come back through. We've got a decent sized bathroom with shower and all the good stuff you need. We have a gorgeous open concept kitchen. All the rage. <laughs> and the kitchen looks over into a very cozy living room. I think this is the most livable living room we've had in an Airbnb yet. And that's it. We are gonna get settled and see what we wanna do for the rest of the day. We'll let you know. Okay, so we decided to come to the Oban Whiskey Distillery. We were gonna do a tour, but they sold out. So instead, we came up to the tasting room and we're gonna do the Oban Stay. These are all the whiskeys that are local to this distillery that you can really, I think, only get here in the tasting room. So that's the one we're gonna taste today. Okay, so with your whiskey tasting here, they give you a little map that shows kind of where it falls, smoky versus delicate, light versus rich. I'm going to start with the Oban a little bit, which leans more towards delicate and rich. That's good. It has like a very, very slight burn, but it's really, really smooth. Like, you could drink this alone by itself. You don't need to mix it with anything. I like it. It's a good, I think it's a good start. Here. I think I expected it to smell like bourbon, but it's not bourbon, so it does not smell like bourbon. It's nice. I can see that it's on the light end. It, it doesn't feel like a lot of times these sort of whiskeys just like punches you. It doesn't feel quite like that. I'm interested to see what the darker ones are like, but this is quite nice. Okay, this one's the Oban Distillery Only Edition. It's actually not on the map at all, so I have no idea where it falls on the profile right now. 
Okay, so this one is definitely more on the light side, not rich. Um, which you can probably tell by the color of it versus the other three. But this one just kind of lights you a little bit. It seriously reminds me of wasabi, like that wasabi effect. It kind of runs through your nasal passage. That's what it reminds me of. It's a slightly lighter smell. I like this one better. It's got like a fruity element. Like much, I, I prefer this one a lot. It's got a, to me, it tastes fruity. It's very nice. I like it a lot. I did not expect to like it. Okay, so this is the third one of the four. It's called Distiller's Edition. It's slightly darker in color. It's the second darkest of the four. It's got a similar smell to the others. I feel like they all kind of smell slightly similar. That one has a, a, a warm spice to me. Like, it would be good in a hot toddy or something. Like, it's got a, just cuts right through with a very, like, a cinnamon or maybe, like, an anise warm spice. What do you think? I'm trying to get the holiday spice that you're talking about, but I'm not, I'm not really getting it. I got something that I can't... I can't really describe it. I don't know if that's good. Okay, so the one that I cannot pinpoint any flavor profile to. I'm just gonna read what it says in my notes. Outstanding. It was indeed fruity and pungent. Sea salt with crushed in grapes, very specific. Orange zest and hints of smoke. Massively complex. Period. Not an exclamation mark. I agree. This is the final whiskey on the tasting flight, and it is the 14 year. So I was learning to drive when this was put into a barrel, to put that in perspective. Um, it's supposed to be on the lighter side and not quite as smoky. So let's give it a go. It smells even more faint which I would think it'd be the opposite of that. Maybe my nose is like burned off by now, I don't know. To me, it tastes kind of smoky, but also after the very first sip of the very first one, my whole mouth was like warm. So I feel like it's kind of hard to get a good tasting. I need something that like neutralizes, you know? Yeah, to me, it's like a lighter on the mouth, but ever so slightly smoky. That's what it tastes like to me. This one's like way different than the other ones. You can really tell. Totally. Yeah, slight smokiness like compared to the other ones for sure. It doesn't have the strong of a, like, of a bite. Maybe though I've adapted. Bond distillery only vodka. Okay, so this flavor profile from this specific one says that it's initially welcomed by the aroma of roasted apple, vanilla, and crystallized oranges. I do think it's vanilla and orange. That would make it excellent and old fashioned. That would be really good. So those of you who know, I love a good classic old fashioned with a small twist. We use vanilla and cute simple syrup and orange peel, as well as orange bitters, Angostura aromatic bitters, and barrel aged bourbon. Specifically we like the Maker 46. So this one, which has a pinch of vanilla and orange. Right up my Alright, so a few little notes about the tasting. We're here at the Obon Distillery. It's the only place to do this tasting. They don't have other locations. Right in the heart of Obon, Scotland. The flight that we chose, there were four options ranging from 16 pounds to 20 pounds. We did the 20 pound one that had only Obon whiskeys because we wanted to taste what they're making and we were not disappointed. You can get some that have a mix of different distilleries. This is one that we did. 
It's super easy, even if the tours are sold out, which they were today, you can just come right up to the bar and have a flight. And they have lots of material on the wall to learn about history and all of that. The people who founded the town also founded the distillery. So it's really neat. All right, the ultimate question, which one was your favorite? I think that's easy. I think Little Bay, the second one, the one that I immediately said was fruity. That was my favorite one. I liked the notes it had. I liked that it wasn't like so much, you know, smoky or anything. It was, to me, had like an element of, I don't know, dried fruit. I like that one the best. That was my favorite. What was yours? So my favorite is the Oban 14 Really smooth French. Honestly, it reminds me more of like a bourbon. I think it's the one I like. It is. It's my ideal. Thank you for seeing this. Right next door to Juan Moore, super cute looking restaurant that serves, I think, Scottish food for dinner and see what it's like. I don't think I've ever had Scottish food. Let's go try it. I've had too much whiskey because that made me emotional. We were just literally five minutes ago walking down the street and I'm like, oh, we need to find somewhere where I can see some bagpipes. And Jordan was like, do you hear that? And I'm like, that's not bagpipes. And then they, there they were walking down the street. I have no idea why. And I just, I got a little emotional. I was so excited. That's neat. We just finished up dinner at Kuan Moor here in the main part of Oban and got a little treat afterwards, which you saw by now, the bagpipes. I'm super into that. It has literally just started raining as we got into the car, so it is time to go home. Yeah, dinner was really good. We're gonna head back to our Airbnb, get a lot of rest because we have a long day of even more driving tomorrow. But before we head out, we're gonna explore the Western Highlands. Yeah. We've arrived in Glasgow, Scotland. Scotland. That Scotland. was emphatic. <laughs> I caught myself. Okay. I'm having a little Ms. Rogers moment. Have we are, Oh. She's here. We were right there, right? Me? I was getting to it. Oh, I thought you were uh, sorry. Jordan's trying to um, be a director over here when he, and he should not be directing. He assumed that she was getting into a spill and not saying that we had arrived, but he was wrong. Come back. Having a little Miss Rogers moment. 